Come on, Dara. I embarrassed my dad by being here. Oh, he gets a little letter. Does he want a letter jacket? Okay, uh, like Coach mentioned earlier, no one really does uh, If you would have saw the black and gold scrimmage, uh, kind of the tail to us. Kind of night and day difference, okay? Uh, we were young, we were trying to find our identity. Uh, we actually had about four more players, okay? We actually <laughs> lost a, a total of four guys over the course of the season. You know, things just didn't work out. Uh, biggest thing is these guys made it through the whole season. And if you know anything about me, um, I yell a lot. I push them a lot, all right? I try to get them out of their comfort zone. You know, uh, some days they probably don't like me, all right? And, but that's okay if I can get the best out of them. So um, this year, 17-5. All right, uh, we won our FCE JV tournament. You can give a little applause for that. Bro. Yeah! Uh, Woo! Uh, we beat Sumalt North twice. Yeah! Right. We beat Liberty twice. Yeah! And more importantly, we beat South twice. Yeah. Woo! That's more important. I can't appreciate all the work they put in this year. Um, it was a lot of fun, right? And so uh, with that fun, hopefully next year they take the next step, right? We're, uh, we're going to be losing some varsity guys this year. So uh, we're looking for a lot of our guys to step up, fill some roles, and uh, really looking for a, a bright future out of these guys. All right? So if you would, give them a round of applause. There's a tummy. <laughs> oh, she can stay up there. Go see Molly. Sportsmanship Award. So this is uh, the individual that was a leader on the court, always a hard worker, uh, great uh, competitor, somebody who went hard uh, on the court. Uh, Jacob Morris, come on. Jake Morris. Yeah, you ready to come back out? 
You get it. Picture of last. You get it. Post for sales a paparazzi. Oh, okay. There you go. So maybe the most important awards of the night is uh, for varsity, they have all academic. We had four players make the all academic team. Uh, Lucas Staley, Evan Swain, Ben Watts, and Jake Morris. Come on up. Let's go, great! <laughs> Let's go, great. That's funny. All varsity. Let's go, great. Now, huh? my hope next year it's really funny. is we have it's really funny. Uh, about 12 guys, right? So some of my sophomores. We're coming up to varsity next year. Freshmen maybe coming up to varsity. Uh, it'd be great if we had more all academic. But these guys are really putting it on on the court. Uh, they're varsity basketball players, and then in the classroom, they're academic all stars. They're doing a great job. You guys give them a round of applause. Yeah. Let's go academics. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> Let's go classroom. Uh, the next thing we'd like to do is call out the varsity basketball team. Uh, and so if we could have the varsity basketball, Lucas Staley, Trey Payne, Bryce Miller, Ben Watson, Zach Bonney, Evan Swain, Amori Johnson, come on up. Donovan Shanks. Donovan Shanks is on. He's coming up today. Finally. So it's common. Hey. So I'm gonna say a little bit about these guys, then I'll let Coach Wyver jump in. Um, a great group to have. Um, great practices. We went hard. We competed. The Chevron. <clears throat> so, uh, one of the things I can say about this group is we didn't have to coach effort. We didn't have to take timeouts. We didn't go into the locker room at halftime. Even when we played Liberty, we were down 14 and a half. It wasn't a speech about going hard. These guys had gotten it. They went hard all the time. They went hard at practice. They pushed themselves. Um, and when you start putting together the highlight film and you're cutting clips, you realize. Uh, how much uh, work they did, how much they put in over the years. For some of them, it might be a freshman, or uh, but some of them are going to be seniors or graduating. But how uh, dedicated they were, uh, how well they played this year. Um, super proud of the season they had. Um, school record in wins. Um, I we had when I first got here, our school record was ten. Uh, for the seniors, we'll talk about just a second. When I came here, that was two. It was how many they won the year before I got here? Two wins. And when they came in their senior year, the basketball program wasn't where it needed to be. Uh, and these guys were uh, put in so much time, so much effort. Uh, so proud of these guys. If we give them one more round of applause. If I could have. Uh, all of the, if I can have Trey, Bryce, and Lucas stay, and everybody, you other guys, go ahead and sit down. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Coach Wyatt, want to say a couple things. Here's what I'll, I'll start off with it. Uh, saying goes, leave it better uh, than when you got here. And I don't think there's any doubt that the program, the basketball here at the school, our reputation, uh, 
is better than when they got here. It's so much better. Um, for Bryce, it was three years in the program. Yeah, for Trey, it was four years, and Lucas, four years. As we talk about when we have our parent meeting in a couple weeks for summer, and we talk about in the parent meeting when we have to kick off the season, right? We start with 12, 14, 15 freshmen, and then you end with three or four seniors. And so the guys who are really bought in, the guys who really are going to work hard, uh, the guys who love it and want to be there, that's who shows up at the end. Uh, and I. I couldn't ask for a greater group. So. Uh, just to piggyback off Coach Ogle, when you have the 12 freshmen stand up here and you know, imagine only three being left, I think basketball teaches you a lot about hard work, dedication, commitment, which I think play into life in general. If you commit yourself to something, if you have the work ethic, you build it in those four years, and these three fine gentlemen have done that. I think that's going to play not only next year when they're freshmen, all of a sudden world, the life just hits them in the face, um, which it will, by the way, <laughs> really quick. But they have, I'm just, just telling you the truth, but they have now that work ethic, that commitment, that drive to succeed because basketball is not, it's the longest sport in high school. Coaches know it. We we're trying to like, please just shorten it by two weeks. Please. Uh, but it takes four months of hard work showing up six days a week three-hour practices, and these three guys, men, because that's what you are now, did that for our program, and we couldn't appreciate it more, guys. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, now we're going to do uh, team awards. These were voted on by players uh, and coaches. So team awards. Um, and so our first award as most improved ninth grader. If you come up, CJ Woodard, come on up. CJ! Coach Purcell, you can get a picture. Way to be like 12 hours away. You good? You got it. So thank you, CJ. So. CJ, come on back here. I'll talk about you for just a second. Okay. Uh, here's the deal. CJ put in a lot of work. I didn't know uh, what we were getting out of him when the summer came. We were throwing a lot of new stuff at CJ. Uh, and then he kept coming. He did the stuff after school. He did the morning shootings. Uh, CJ improved. He put in a ton of hard work. Uh, by the end of the year, he was an inside-out player. He was able to make threes. I think he had a game this year where he made six. Is that right? Six threes. He also has some of the best post moves in the program. So, so, excuse me, Evan. So, so, uh, I'm really, really proud of how hard he's worked. I think he's made a big jump, and his teammates voted him most improved player. And so, CJ, thank you, my Good man. Good job, CJ. Our next one is, uh, we had two for most improved. Uh, we actually had three because we had JV. And, uh, most improved, uh, another ninth grader. Uh, this is a guy who lives in the gym. He's what we call, we put it under quotations, gym rat. You could always say, hey, this person stayed two hours after practice. Uh, this person didn't leave. I think he's still in the gym shooting. Uh, made great strides, got better and better. Even when his jump shot might not be falling, his ability to go to the rim, ability to score. Uh, Jacob York, come on up. Jacob! Look this way. Yeah, thank you, brother. 
Jacob York. Um, so we had, this year we had one freshman that made it all the way up to varsity. Uh, when the season started, uh, I thought he was probably a guy who would play some freshman. He'd be a guy maybe we'd move up at some point to JV. Uh, but right away, within the first couple days of tryouts, we knew right away uh, that he was going to be a pretty special basketball player. Somebody who had a lot of ability. Uh, by the end of the year, he was our seventh or eighth guy on the varsity team. Uh, Amori Johnson, come on up. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, we good on that angle? We got it. Thank you. Take like way too far away for pictures. Um, yeah. I'm just telling you. <laughs> hey, you get your next butt up player here. is sophomore. They're going to be like this tall. Uh, this is a guy that <laughs> stuck around the program, showed up every day when he was a freshman, and he never got to play. So a lot of kids would be like, you know what, I'm injured. I'm going to go home. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to sleep till about 6. I'm going to stay up all night, play video games. Uh, he had a great attitude. He sat the bench for JV and varsity games at the end of the year when our season, when the freshman season ended. Uh, he was recovering this summer, uh, and we watched over the last uh, four months him get better and better and better. Uh, and he's a great kid, great character. He's got a million dollar smile. Nick Stepney, come on up. Uh, our next one's most improved junior. Uh, this is the guy when Coach Barner gets really excited about talking about winning at South, against South by 20 in the gym. Uh, this guy's his ability was on display to knock down shots. He was somebody who's progressed from a freshman that barely played to somebody who's a key part of the program. Uh, really, really proud of all the hard work, his dedication to the program, morning shootings, plyos, summer basketball, done an amazing job. Andrew Allen, come on up. Surprise for most improved senior, um, right? Uh, this is a player who we had conversations when he was a junior film session about if you just show up as a senior, you're never, you're not going to get any better. Uh, my first couple years in the program, we had a lot of guys who had great junior years, and then they had a fall off statistically and probably their level of play when they became seniors. Because a lot of times kids think, I'm a senior, I made it. I'm going to be better just because I'm older. Uh, this wasn't that individual. Uh, he put in a ton of work. He did everything we asked. Uh, his teammates noticed. Uh, it was a surprise to me. They voted him most improved senior, Lucas Staley. Come on up. Hey, our next team award is Mr. Consistency. Uh, this is the player who was a steady influence on their team, both offensively and defensively throughout the year. This player's contributions do not always show up in the stat columns, but their work and consistent play contribute to the success of their team. 
Their leadership is displayed by always doing their job and leading by example. Uh, this varsity basketball player is somebody who, uh, he was sick, he was out for I think three or four games. We played uh, a team and we had 26 turnovers. Uh, warned him when we played him. Uh, the next time we came back, uh, he was able to play. He didn't score 30 points, but we had about 11 turnovers and we beat Warrington uh, at the buzzer. Uh, Zach Bonnie, come on up, Mr. Pitt. We had two Mr. Hustle Awards this year. So, all right, uh, the player who most consistently did the little things that make a team successful. Their hustle and desire helped lead the team to, su to success by diving on the floor, running down loose balls, defensive hustle and rebounded. Okay, this guy every day when we, we do our full court drills, we do Vegas, we do three on three get back. Uh, literally for about five minutes when we do three on three get back, I don't think he comes off the court. Literally, he's absolutely gassed. Okay. Um, sometimes because the other guys are dead tired, he just wants more reps. But he's the one guy diving for the loose balls. It shows up in, in games, playing the backside, extra rebounds, getting that extra possession. Okay, key moments. Um, really proud of him and the work he's put in this year. Okay, uh, this year's Mr. Hustle Award goes to Jude Haifa. <laughs> Now, we, we also had a varsity Mr. Hustle. Um, this is the guy that was, we shot a lot of three-pointers. If you watched us, we shot a lot of three-pointers, which is a good thing. We wanted to shoot 23 pointers a game. We wanted to shoot 30. This is a guy that uh, would run around sometimes <laughs> like a maniac, and he would get those loose balls. He'd get the rebounds. He'd outwork. There were nights where he was the best player on the floor just because he out hustled, he outworked everybody. Um, and so, Mr. Hustle for our varsity basketball team, Ben Watson, come on. Woo! Inspire the team through their defensive effort, communication. Uh, you really need to highlight the word intensity. Uh, help to make our team better because they're consistent de defensive play throughout the year. Uh, this individual sacrifices playing time for to make us better as a team because sometimes he has to foul, sometimes he has to challenge shots. Uh, even though to not do those things, maybe he gets to stay in the game. Uh, and he did it all year. He anchored our defense. Uh, Donovan Shanks, come on up. Yeah. Defensive player. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Mom? Um, is Lion of the Year. 
Uh, this is a player who has demonstrated the highest qualities of boys basketball. Ability, desire, hustle, inspiration, leadership, having a positive attitude. He has worked to make himself a better player. His teammates better players who embody the ideals of our program both on and off the court throughout the year. Uh, this individual was also voted our most valuable player by his teammates in the program. Um, right? Um, I'll have him come up before I say a little bit more. Lucas Staley, come on up. So he can be up here. Thank you. Thank you. seniors how much we're going to miss them, the amazing things that they did. It's not easy on the varsity level. These are the best athletes in the high school. When we go out and we play someone, we play the best athletes in their high school. Uh, when Lucas started as a freshman, he was a skinny kid. He wasn't very tall. Um, and he could shoot a tiny bit. And he put in a ton of work. Lucas is one of those kids where we said you need to get into weight training. He got into weight training. He worked hard. If we said, Lucas, you need to run track, and you need to get faster and more athletic, he ran track, he got faster. If we said, Lucas, you need to be at morning shooting, even though you hate getting up in the morning, Lucas got the morning shooting. Uh, it's not because of just God-given ability, and he is a talented individual. Uh, he is athletic, but he's put in so much work. Uh, I couldn't ask for a, a better player, I couldn't ask for a better person on the court. Uh, I'm proud of him in the classroom, uh, on the court, uh, and I'm just proud to have uh, him in my program and have him uh, finish his four years with us. Super proud of him, Lucas Staley. <laughs> seniors uh, they left this program so much better than where it was when I, we started four years ago uh, I believe we're continuing on our way up it takes a lot of hard work uh, basketball is a skill sport we're looking forward to the next chapter which is next year and the next couple weeks starting out uh, we're very very proud of our youth our programs and where they are and how far they've come uh, so like I said, even my graduating seniors, please come back. Parents, come back, support the program. Uh, I'd like to thank you for coming out tonight, and that's the conclusion of our banquet. Thank you very much.